some ratio, right? So we're going to have a little introduction to ratio today. Uh, hopefully for most of you, it's um, just a bit of a reminder, okay? So these are things that we're going to have a little, just a very quick look at, okay? Um, I've got some nice easy ones to begin with, all right? So write down the ratio of stars to triangles. There's three stars, there's one triangle. So the ratio is three to one. That's all it means. Right, shaded squares to white squares. Two shaded squares. One, two, three, four, five, six. But I'm not going to stop there. Work sort of a uh, same sort of idea as fractions, okay? So, okay, that's there. But is there a common factor? Well, of course there is. Two goes into two and it goes into six. Goes into two once and it goes into six three times. So as a ratio, that's better to say. Let's have a quick look at this last one here. So one, two, three, four, and one, two, which cancels to two to one. And normally when you write a ratio, most people would generally write the, the, the smaller number first, but it doesn't really matter. But look to see what the question says. So for example, this one, if it said white squares to shaded squares, well, it would be the other way around. Okay, so just read carefully what it says. Right, let's have a look at some, some slightly different questions. So here we go. So what have we got coming up? Right, so write the ratio one meter to 40 centimeter. Okay, so why this is slightly trickier, okay? Why it's slightly trickier is because we're mixing the units, all right? So it's just something to look out for. Always be careful when the units are mixed up. So when I see this, the first thing you gotta do is just change it. So you can either change that to meters or you can change that to centimeters. I think changing them to centimeters would probably make it easier. So let's rewrite this. Now we should know 100 centimeters, one meter. So therefore, I can write that. Now I don't now I don't actually need to write the units down now. I could write 100 centimeters to 40 centimeters. Well actually because the the units are the same, then we don't need to do it. That's fine. Right. Now obviously this cancels. Well 10 goes into both. So 10 goes to 4 and uh, 2, of course, 5 to 2. If you, if you can jump straight from there, hooray, fantastic, all right, brilliant. Okay, so the only way that these questions get a little bit trickier is because they just trying to kind of give you a bit of context, get a bit confusing with some of the wording, okay? So let's have a look. We've got Nigel. He's making a smoothie by mixing half a litre of blueberry, ju uh, blueberry juice, 100 millilitres of plain yoghurt. Okay, so what he wants to know there is he's got, uh, we've got blueberry and we've got plain yogurt. Okay, so we can just sort of summarise there. All right, I'm, ju I'm just trying to take this stuff here. I'm just trying to sort of summarise what's there. Half a litre. Well, that's 500 millilitres, isn't it? So, so that would make sense to write that. And then 100. Okay, um, so let's cancel that down. So divide, uh, 100 goes into everything. There we go. Right. I haven't actually read the question. All right. I don't actually know what the question was. All I've done is I've just taken that sentence just there and I've just rewritten it. I've just made some sense of it. Right. Now we're going to go and read that question. How much yogurt does it? So it's, the, it's blueberry juice to plain yogurt, isn't it? How much yogurt does he use for every milliliter of juice? So what that wants is it wants this. It wants me to write it like that, one to something. Right? And you quite often get this in questions. Normally, it would just say, write it like this. Now, you've got this here. All you've got to do is, well, what have I got to do to that? Five, do the same to that. Divide by five. So if I divide that by five, it's one. Divide that by five, 0 0.2. So the answer to my question is how much yogurt does he use for every milliliter of juice? He's going to use 0 0.2 milliliters. Okay, so when you get this question and it says go one to n, all you got to do is if, for example, if you had seven to uh, bleh, uh, seven is really not a very good number. I'm going to change that number. Right, that's a, that's a poor choice of number. Let's go four to 10, all right? Just a slightly better example, okay? So if I want to write it like this, what have you done? I've 
divide that by 4, divide by 4. So if I divide this by 4, 10 divided by 4 is 2.5. So if it asks me to write this down, that's all that means. All right. But it's when it gives it this context like this, that's when it gets a little bit more confusing. Right now, obviously, you, you've got a few questions there to have a go at. Um, and then and then this is like the, the last bit. OK, so what I suggest that you that you might go and do now is go and do those first set of questions. There's only a few there. Just quickly do those. Make sure that you're OK. And then you can come back to this. OK, so there we go. Right. We've had the pause. Right. Let's do this bit. So what have we got using ratio? The ratio of men to women in an office is three to four. If there are nine men in the office, how many women are there? Yeah, right. OK, so let's just summarize what we got. We've got men to women is three to four. If there are nine men in the office, so let's call that nine. What have I done to get to three to nine? I've multiplied it by three. So do the same to that. Twelve. OK, it's the same ratio. It's got to stay the same. Uh, how many women are there? There's twelve. OK, right. Using ratios to find fractions. Here we go. A box of donuts. That's making me a little bit peckish. Right. Jammy. Oh, sorry. I just right. Jammy. Oh, I quite like a custard donut, actually, but they're not there. Right. OK. Got jam donuts, chocolate donuts. A box of donuts contains jam donuts and chocolate. So we've got jam. We've got chocolate. And we've got them in a ratio of three to five. What fraction of the donuts are chocolate? Right. Five out of how many are there all together? OK, there's five parts of chocolate. So if I had one, two, three jammy ones and then four. So we've got we got jammies and we've got five chocolate ones. It's five over eight. There you go. Right. Last few questions for you. Similar sort of idea to those ones there. OK, so hopefully you can get those. So I'm just not happy with my eight. There you go. To be honest, I'm not that happy with that eight. All right, there you go. Right, leave you with that.